All right, we're switching gears. 946 Wine Lovers will be heading to Guilford this Saturday and Sunday for the Shoreline Wine Festival. Joining us to talk all about it, Sarah Bishop, Del Ventura of Bishop's Orchards Farm Market and Winery. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I know this is an exciting time of year for you folks. You're a sixth generation uh, wine expert and, and owner here. What do you love or what do you think it is that people love so much about the craft of fine wines? I think it's something different. It's something enjoyable to do with your friends and family. Um, there's always everything tastes different. There's no wine, one wine that tastes the same as something else. So that in itself is interesting to find out. And everybody has different tastes and different likes. You could one person could hate it, one person could love it, and it just it's just fun. We talk so much on our show this time of year about our CT bucket list, things for folks to check out for the summer as they head out to the wine festival this weekend. Give me an idea as we look here on the table as to what folks can expect when it comes to variety and who will be there. Sure. So we have seven different Connecticut wineries that are participating in the festival. Um, and with that, each of them will be sampling up to four or five bottles of their wine that they are producing and making um, on, on their, at their vineyards or wineries. And with a ticket price, with a ticket comes a glass and you get to sample all of those wines. And there's going to be some great food there as well. There will be. So we have seven or eight food trucks that are going to be there um, and they all range from barbecue to Mexican to lobster, grilled cheese, pizza, you name it. So you know, I have been known to make a confession or two here on the show. I was uh, trying to buy some wine to have some folks over for dinner on Friday night, and I panicked because I'm still the type, even at my age, that is buying wine based on what the bottle looks like. For someone so who's, for someone, <laughs> okay, good. The expert says that's okay. For someone who is heading out this weekend and may not be that expert and is kind of casually mm -hmm. going from station to station, yeah. what do you want them to keep in mind? You know, they don't have to keep, just keep an open mind is what I would say. Um, you know, some of the wines that you're going to look at, especially in Connecticut, are not necessarily all grape wines. Like Bishop's, like our, ourselves, we make fruit wines. Keep an open mind. Try it. If you don't like it, that's one thing. But you're basically, you're talking to the people who work there, the people who work and uh, that make the wines. So you can ask all the questions. They're there to, we're there to educate you at the, from the wineries for the guest perspective. So taste, try, you're not going to like everything. And the best thing about it is that all the wines that are being sampled that day are being sold that day. So if you find something you like, you can write it down. We give you the note, a piece of paper yeah. and notes to take, and you can walk out with those wines right then and there. So. Any, anything that's especially trending this time of year or this season? You know, the white wines and rosés, the sparklings are always trending in the summer. It's just the heat. You want something cold to drink. Um, you, so those are the ones that a lot of people look for. The frosés or the new thing will have those available um, just with these hot temperatures. I know a lot of folks love wine, but everybody at home loves a bargain. And I know yes. tickets are on sale right now, but you need to jump if you want some kind of discount. They are. So t t until midnight tonight, if um, you go onto the website shorelinewinefestival.com to purchase your tickets, which are normally $35 right now, like, you'll get $5 off if you enter the code SWFEST8. 118, I believe. If, well, if I'm not we'll correct, it will be on the website. So, And then I can't let you sneak out of here. It goes no. back to my point of picking wines based on what the bottle looks like. There are going to be some experts there doing seminars to help folks out. We will have a couple of people. We don't have any actual sit-down time for seminars, but we have our wine tours that will be oh. running on the hour, every hour. It's a tour of our winery, and you can learn all about winemaking on those. This sounds like a whole lot of fun. I'm wishing you the best of luck, and hopefully you have some Thank great you. weather. Thank all you right. very much.